Okay, well, first of all, also well done everybody for getting here. I need to do a roll for find the best place to hold our little dance class um, without interfering with anybody else, but also getting to do our dance class. We exposed in public and we were all like, ready because not, then we're going to move down to the next place. Try not to look cold. <laughs> we also did like a timeline for the day. We're all right through Mr. Hans again. I know it is slightly rainy, but I am a proper Irish girl and I'm going to ignore that. Unless it's focusing down, then we put our hoods off. Okay, are we ready to go, everybody? I have a, a piece of choreography that I want to teach you guys. The song is actually called The End of the World. But that's what it feels like when my dance classes are taken away from me. It feels like the end of the world. Let's Elsie, go. Are you ready to go? Molly, are you ready to go? We lost Molly. Molly! Yeah. Yeah. I'll just keep checking in with you. Okay. <laughs> Off we go. Okay, music's on. Not too loud. You guys tell me if we're getting too loud. Besides Supervalley, the little private car park. So these are all places I'm trying to think that are not near people's houses to annoy people, but public enough that we can be in them. What I want to do now is go into a piece of choreography. I'm actually going to teach with my back to you guys, so if you all want to jump in behind. It's really a beautiful evening. Don't mind, there's no wind or rain at all. We have a Zoom tripod on the go. We have Laura's camera. We have Lily's photography camera. We've just done our warm up opposite the Brass Fox. That went down well. And now we're across at the river to get in the sights of our beautiful town while we do a dance dedicated to lockdown. It's called the end of the world, <laughs> but it's more positive than that. It is actually more positive than that. We're going to take the cameras as our front, which means we'll be working on diagonals. At the intro, you're going to face the town. We're Right, ready? Info, let's go to the video. Turn, hoods, blow. I actually can't remember what's next. I've already taught two classes today, but I wrote it down. So it says don't close your eyes. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your hands up and then your hands up, right left. Right arm up to the top of the left. And you're going to do a little Step, step. Take your right hand over your left. Three quick runs. Zoom in on the fact that I have to do this to know my left from my right. Right. And the last bit of that. I don't know why everything's flying around. It's so not even windy right now. Let's go for the top. If they can get all that together. Turn around. Turn around. 
A little socially distant recap, yeah. but that was good fun. We realized all the really windy places in Wicklow, but then we found a lovely sheltered place, the perfect car park for our street dance. Isn't that what street dance is all about? We've learned the first part of the choreography, and I'm also going to put in a tutorial so everybody who wasn't able to come tonight uh, will know the choreography for next week. And then we'll just make a plan whether next week we are going to go and try and film it in some different locations. Okay, so anybody else got anything to add? Lily did some photography. I can't wait to see those pictures. So we got a few little bouts of rain, nothing too crazy. Now we've come back to the studio, and of course, it's a beautiful evening. And um, I hope everybody enjoys themselves. And let's take a round of vote. Was that better than doing a Zoom class? Yes. 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 Okay, so there you go. Mission accomplished. That was better than a Zoom class and a little bit of fun and confidence building. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, dancers. Everybody give a big wave and good night. Bye. Bye, guys. Hot.